Hello everybody, this is Ike from Ike and Me Gaming and I thought I would do a quick walkthrough of how I do warehouses. I know I've done a couple warehouse videos, but this seems to be one of the things people struggle with the most. So I'm just going to show you one of my many setups here. This is called Poland Warehouse. First thing I want you to know is I picked one of my main five things and I put the warehouse there. If at all possible, you always want to do that because you can have six slots. So if one of them is one of your main items like corn, grain, wood, sugar, say those four specifically, but even milk, if one of them is one of those, then you save a spot. Now technically I can have seven things here. See what I mean? So I will put that dead center or somewhere in the middle of my city. So in this case, I have Warsaw, Lutz, Lod, sorry, and Bromberg are my main cities. Now I did throw Posen in there because it kind of doesn't fit anywhere else. But I try to go with three. Once in a blue moon, I'll go with four. I really never ever go above that. I just find once cities grow, it's just way too hard to get it to supply that no matter what you do. So that's what I do anyways. So I make sure Warsaw here has alcohol. You see Lutz Lutz has the cloth and Bromberg has the meat. Posen also has meat, so that's why it kind of doesn't fit. But, anyways, I threw it in there. So, we go back here. I'll have right now, I have my grain coming in right here to Poland Warehouse. I have my wood, my closest wood is over here. And then I have my closest sugar is here. My closest, or here, sorry. My closest milk is there, so it's coming down through here to Poland Warehouse. And then I also throw in my vegetables, which are right here, kind of covered by this little triangle. And then my fruit are right here. Sometimes those are further away than I would like them to be. So this way here, my first warehouse, I put all seven goods. If I'm lucky and it's like a double spot where there's two goods, then even better, I can get up to eight. But I, I try to make sure I have these exact things at least. So right up to fruit that's how I do it these are all kind of raw materials you don't have to do anything to them and what I'll do is I have lines going at the Warsaw I have lines going at the Lodz lines going at the Bromberg and of course Posen as well and bring in these things I usually go three or four trains in from each main industry good and then usually two at the first go into each city and then eventually three and then what I'll do is I'll pick a city usually. Now you could put another warehouse randomly out somewhere and do it that way, but usually what I'll do is I'll pick a city. In this case, it's it's Lodz. So if we look at Lodz, I'll take its freight station and I basically make it a warehouse. So what it'll do is it'll take the meat from Bromberg and Posen, it'll warehouse it to go over to Warsaw. It'll take Warsaw's alcohol and warehouse it to go over to Posen and to Bromberg. Then whatever other manufactured goods that come up later, right now I have four of them, I'll stick them in here until I fill it up. And it, and then I'll have trains coming into Lodz bringing those goods from the other cities and then those trains will take back whatever that city needs. And so that way, right now just in this little setup, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things coming there. Then in theory here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have, with that said, I have 13 things that I'm supplying to my cities. And of course, that does depend on how big the factories are. When it's not me that owns them, they don't tend to produce a whole lot. So that kind of sucks. But other than that, that would give me 13. Now, as my cities grew and they got up to like 100,000, I got a third industry like I do here with the cheese then I would probably have to pick either another city for a, a third warehouse for the even higher quality manufactured goods or maybe just a random thing or if I had a, like say the cement right here I could use it to be a warehouse or whatnot and then I could feed it into these cities I've never tried that third warehouse yet but I definitely go with these first two so the first ones are always raw goods second one is always in a city the way I do it you can do put it wherever and it's always manufactured goods only and I never mix the two things so this way here with my first warehouse I usually always get up the fruit 
and then the second one is where I have like my cloth my my meat my alcohol and cheese and whatever else comes down the line and with that your cities can grow quite well and you limit tra train lines are not too crazy and it'll just grow these three these four cities will grow quite well as you can see Laws has double growth Posen has double growth Brownberg has single growth and so does Warsaw so you don't want to just leave and do nothing every once in a while you want to come back and just look and make sure your trains aren't bottlenecking somewhere see here I have uh, really big uh, grid irons that's also something you want to think about I know some people say you shouldn't but I've done it this way lately and I find it's way better the bigger the grid irons you can have the better and so you want to have it in a way that you're not too close to things and you almost want to lay out when you have the money these grid irons first and bring them way out so you can have like this way here no matter what line things come in I have eight different tracks it can shuffle the trains into and out of and I just think it's it's better if I have four trains and they were only coming in these two tracks or say six trains on two tracks we all know what's going to happen they're going to start bottlenecking and so this way here if I wanted to get real high tech I wouldn't even have a maintenance depot here I would have it at all of these other places so that they would maintain outside with the rural businesses and then I could put a dispatch hall if I think it's going a bit too slow usually I don't do that at the beginning but I, I do change those as things grow and get faster I didn't do that here in Lodz because I kind of need a where uh, maintenance depot in there so that just gives you an idea it's not a tutorial per se but it's just like a look at how I do things and I basically just recreate this over and over again like I have one up here in Russia that does Konigsberg Ida Kunin and Danzig and it's doing the same thing I have a BSKZ warehouse over here for Stetlin Berlin Zelona Gora and Koslin doing the same thing I have one over here Germany North to Bremen Hanover Gutersburg Gutersloh sorry it's doing exactly the same thing then I have my Germany South for Cologne Castle Frankfurt doing exactly the same thing and in each one of these setups I have my main raw goods right there and then I'll have my manufactured goods at one of these warehouses and shuffle it that way I think that's where you should start if you're a beginner try doing it that way even if you're like a mid-level player try doing it that way if you're not already and I think you'll find it'll help you out if you like this video like comment subscribe and come back and watch another great video of Viking Me Gaming